Welcome to my review of Zoo Park Story, the latest mobile game from Kerasoft that puts you in charge of building and managing your very own zoo. In this animal-filled simulation game, you'll take on the role of an aspiring zoo owner with the goal of creating a paradise for animals and visitors alike. With a wide range of features and customization options, you'll be able to build your zoo just the way you want it, from choosing where to place different animals and amenities to selecting the perfect plants to create a vibrant environment. One of the things I really like about Zoo Park Story is the variety of animals that you can add to your zoo. There are a wide range of different animals to choose from, and each one has its own unique personality. Another thing I like about Zoo Park Story is the freedom that you have to decorate your zoo. You can place buildings, plants, and decorations wherever you want. You can even create your own custom exhibits. As you progress through the game, completing zoo guide goals and improving your zoo's overall rating, you'll attract more and more customers, earning rewards, and unlocking new content along the way. So if you're ready to dive into the exciting world of zoo management, let's take a closer look at what Zoo Park Story has to offer. After playing this game for a while, I have found some major flaws in the game design that make it less enjoyable than it could be. One of the biggest issues with Zoo Park Story is the special currency known as Animal Points. These points are derived from your animals, and a pen with a good environment factor will result in a more efficient Animal Points payout. While Animal Points are necessary when negotiating with new animals as well as when visiting the Animal Hub, the collection of these points can become tedious and boring when your zoo is really big with lots of animals. This can take away the fun of the game and turn it into a chore-like experience. Moreover, the game lacks any zoo employees, which I find to be one of the worst parts of the game. Instead, you have to collect them one by one by clicking yourself. This process can become extremely time-consuming, especially when you have a large zoo with many animals. I believe that if the developers had introduced zoo employees into the game, it could have made the game more realistic and engaging. The employees could have helped players in collecting animal points, cleaning pens, feeding animals, and performing other important tasks related to the smooth running of a zoo. Anyway, one of the most impressive aspects of the game is the way animals interact not only with visitors, but also with other critters they share their pen with. This creates a realistic and dynamic environment that adds to the overall charm of the game. In order to keep your animals happy, you will need to expand their pens, give them items, and add new animal pals to your family. Items in this game are not just decorative, they play a vital role in keeping your animals fed and entertained. Using items will contribute to friendliness, which is the key to success in Zoo Park Story. If you have played other games by Kerasoft, you will know that items are always important. In this game, they are even more crucial than ever before. By using items wisely, you can create a thriving zoo filled with happy and healthy animals. One of the most crucial factors for healthy animals and breeding success is the environment of their pens. The spaciousness and surrounding flora are key factors to consider when creating a healthy environment for your animals. It's important to note that pens housing the same type of animal can be combined by placing them next to each other, resulting in a square or rectangle pen with a maximum range of four squares lengthwise or crosswise. Toys can also be set up in your pens, which will help your animals exercise and increase their exercise parameter. Additionally, laying down flora in the vicinity of your animals can boost their environment, especially if it corresponds to their natural habitat. Food distribution is another crucial aspect of keeping your animals happy and healthy. You can dole out food to compatible pens, ensuring that your animals are getting the proper nutrition they need to thrive. If a male and female are sharing the same pen and have a good relationship, they may eventually produce offspring. This requires not only a good environment but also high levels of friendliness between the animals. The game has a unique premise where customers pay to enter the zoo and then look at your animals while using various on-site facilities. As the owner, it's your job to ensure that your visitors are happy and entertained throughout their stay. One of the standout features of Zoo Park Story is its social media aspect. One of the interesting features of the game is that customers can make positive social media posts when they are impressed by one of your animals. This adds a fun social aspect to the game, 
and can potentially attract more visitors to your zoo. However, there is one downside to this feature. As the player, you have to like these social media posts one by one. While it may seem like a small task, it can become quite tedious and boring after a while. It would be great if there was an option to mass like these posts or some sort of automation to make this process smoother. Moreover, there are some areas where the game falls short. I notice that customers are reluctant to interact with certain amenities, such as the zoo map or the food stall for animals. In fact, I never saw any customer use them even once. This can be frustrating as these facilities are meant to enhance the experience for both the animals and the customers. As with all Kerasoft games, this one too is packed with mini-games that make for an immersive gameplay experience. One of the standout features of Zoo Park Story is the ability to pick up items, plants, and more, as well as recruiting animals met along the way to your zoo roster via negotiation. I found this to be the best way to get new animals for my zoo, much better than purchasing them directly. The negotiation process itself is a lot of fun. Befriending wild animals by enticing them over the negotiation line within the time limit can be challenging, but also very rewarding. Negotiation difficulty varies by animal, so you'll need to use different tactics to win over each one. One of the key features of Zoo Park Story is its PR strategies. You can undertake a variety of campaigns to bolster your business, from advertising in local newspapers to creating social media accounts. These strategies are particularly useful during bad weather conditions when the number of visitors is low. As you progress through the game, more strategies become available, allowing you to attract even more customers. However, not all strategies are created equal. Some are more expensive than others, but have a greater effect on people. It's important to use your resources wisely and not spend all your money on expensive campaigns. Balancing your budget and choosing the right strategies is essential to making your zoo successful. Extending your zoo's walls is another key aspect of the game. By expanding your zoo, you can attract more animals and visitors, increasing your profits and reputation. One of the main features of the game is the dedicated shuttle road that you can lay down in order to transport visitors from one part of the park to another. It's important to have two stops located strategically throughout the park, and the fare can be adjusted based on the proximity of animal types to the road. And if the shuttle road intersects with a pedestrian road, the shuttle will stop moving when people are standing in front of it. So proper layout is crucial for success in this game. Watching the shuttles moving and transporting visitors while generating revenue is a lot of fun and adds to the realism of the game. Speaking of animals, the game allows you to place them inside a safari zone regardless of type, as long as they're friendly. Adding plants and other natural features within the safari zone will create an immersive environment and enhance the visitor experience. The main leg of the game concludes on March of the 11th year, at which time your total money and points will be converted to clear points. But don't worry, you can still continue playing even after the game ends. And if you beat the game, starting over will allow you to carry over some previous data, making it easier to achieve a new high score. So there you have it, my review of Zoo Park Story. This is a great game for animal lovers who want to learn more about different habitats and food types of various animals. However, the game may not be suitable for those who are lazy or do not enjoy clicking on their mobile screen for extended periods of time. Collecting animal points and liking social media posts can be a tedious task that may lead to finger fatigue. Despite this, if you enjoy building and managing your own zoo, then Zoo Park Story is definitely worth checking out. The game offers a lot of informative content that can keep you entertained for hours on end. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. This is Game Hopper signing off.